Mini Nubian. Next to him is S'mores. S'mores at two months. She's a Nigerian dwarf. Anyway, she's looking to play a little bit. Come on, S'mores. Um, so this is what he looks like. He's got really good confirmation. He wants to go play. It's very sweet. He's been disbutted. Okay, buddy. This is not his mom. His mom is right behind you. His mom is right. Okay, so stand up. So this mom is here. This is Donkey. She's a full grown, but this is a boy, so he's going to be a little bit bigger. We'll take you over to go see him. You can look at him. So Dale's a mini Nubian, which means he's a cross between a Nubian and a Nigerian dwarf. This is a Nigerian dwarf, purebred. Um, <clears throat> so on the boys, they get to be about. 27 to 29 inches at the weathers, but this is the weathers. And they can get to be about 135, maybe 140 pounds. Uh, well, or if they're fat. Um, the mini, the Nigerian dwarfs are much, much smaller. We've got a couple of full grown Nigerian dwarfs over here. There's one right there. Oh, the long ears are the mini Nubians, and the, the short ears are the dwarfs. He is, um, I believe he's a sixth generation, um, which means that <coughs> both of his parents are a, a five, a minimum of a five. Actually, his dad is a purebred. So um, you take the generation, one generation more than the lowest generation of the parents. So he's, um, you can see that he's got all of the characteristics of a Nubian, but he's just a, a mini breed of that. Nubian. And she's not for sale. So the reason that you that we, because we're we're dairy, we're, uh, the reason that we look for the mini Nubian dairy breed is that the Nigerian dwarfs have a very high butterfat content. The higher the butterfat, the sweeter the milk. And these guys do large volume, which is. Um, the, which is the Nigerian dwarfs do not. So these guys do high volume. So what you get is a mix of high volume with higher butter fats. So you get a sweet milk and a higher volume. You don't get as much as you get out of the Nubian, but you still get quite a bit. Okay. We're gonna go take a look at um, a five-month-old mini Nubian. So you can see the size of a five-month-old, and then we're also gonna take a look at a full-grown. We're at his dad, so you can see how big they get full-grown. This is a full-grown female, quite manageable, like a large dog. They're manageable on the milking stand. Uh, they're manageable when you have to do any sort of vaccinations or you have to do any sort of um, do the hooves trimming. They're a nice size and they're so, you can see how sweet and docile they are. I wanted to bring Dale down here. He's a little feisty because we pulled him away from his mom. Um, and all of his buddies. I wanted to pull him down here so you can see his size in relationship to some of the older ones. So, right behind me and coming towards me, that those are five month old mini Nubians. They're very curious. As you can see their size. They're almost about the size of the females, full grown. Okay, buddy. Come here, Clyde. Come on. Come here, Clyde. So this is Clyde. This is, this is a full-grown mini Nubian. This is his dad. This is Dale's dad. So you can see about how big he gets. So again, a large dog. I'm five feet tall on a good day. So you can see they're quite manageable in size. But it's not tiny. That's your son, Clyde.
They're all talking to each other now. This is our herd buck, Handsome Clyde. Hi, Handsome Clyde. He's a good looking boy. This is our other herd buck, unrelated, Stellar. He's only five months old. So, he's not anyone's daddy yet, but these two are going to be our main herd bucks. Thank you.